from the Gospel of Mark. Jesus left that place and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. On the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, where did this man get all of this? What is this wisdom that has been given to him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is it not this carpenter and the son of Mary and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? Are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense to him. Then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor except in their hometowns and among their own kin and in their own house. And he could do no deed of power there except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and cured them, and he was amazed at their unbelief. One of the things that I really like about this story that may be lost on us is that uh, this Mark is talking about a time that Jesus was in the temple in Nazareth, and he's teaching in the synagogue. But in the Gospel of Mark, This is the last time that Mark places Jesus in the synagogue. This is still fairly early in Jesus' ministry and life. And yet it's the last time that he's in the formal, physical, holy structure of a synagogue teaching. The rest of Jesus' life and mission and ministry happens outside of the synagogue. Now, we have, we're coming up on a year of most of us being outside of the church. We have found ways to worship, to work, to stay connected outside of the church. The church is wonderful, and I know we will all be extremely grateful when we can gather together in worship, when we can pass the peace, share communion, go to Sunday school or Bible study in person. We yearn for those things. But sometimes many of us get stuck on our faith being the thing that happens in this building, in this this church in St. James Cathedral. What faith really, when faith really happens is when we're outside of the church. Everything that we do when we go into the building should fuel our life and our mission and our ministry out in the world, just like Jesus' life. I hope that this year has taught us that our faith is with us at all times and that we are called as Christians to live out the light and the love of Christ everywhere we go. And that building, that church is extremely important, but it is not the only thing. We are Christians out in the world. Amen.